Let's get started with Gradle in NetBeans. I'm using NetBeans IDE 802. I go to the available plugins tab. I look for Gradle. And there it is. I install it. I click next. Groovy and Grails isn't installed in this installation of NetBeans, so it will be installed after the Gradle support plugin is installed because the Gradle support plugin relies on the uh, Groovy editor. The first thing I'm going to do is take this local installation of Gradle and register that in NetBeans so that Gradle support in NetBeans will not try to download Gradle. And instead of that, we're going to say that we're going to use a given local folder and also Let's set the Gradle user home to that same location and we click OK. Now we go to the new project dialog and we create a single Gradle project and we'll call it Hello Gradle. Our main class will be org my main. Click finish. And now take a look at the progress bar in the bottom right. You can see that various Gradle commands are now being run. And this is being done in order to set up the project correctly. In other words, here you can see the project structure with different uh, nodes for our source packages, our test packages, and so on. Our dependencies, build scripts. So a very nice project structure. And here is my main Java. And I'll say hello world or something like that. Hello world. And let's, well, I don't like this font, so I'm going to quickly fix the font to the way I like it to be. And that is the heck. Font, which looks a lot better. So there we go. And now let's run the application. And oh, well, and we can see our hello world message. So let's add a couple of exclamation marks, run it again. And there we have our Hello World. That's it. We've set up NetBeans IDE to use Gradle. Next, I have the NetBeans Gradle plugin on disk. It's got a build Gradle file and it's got a source folder. Let's go into NetBeans. Let's go into NetBeans and open that project. Just to show that you can open an external project into NetBeans just as easily as creating a new one as we did. So again, take a look in the progress bar. It takes a really long time, depending on the dependencies you set up in your Gradle project. But as you can see, eventually, after everything that you've declared has been downloaded, the project structure appears in the IDE. And without doing anything special, I might add, except wait. You need to wait a long time depending on the, um, the structure of the project and what's been uh, defined for it. 
but you can see here that we're getting close to the end of the process and we clearly can see our, our project structure. I'll just close the navigator window. It's really amazing this uh, what this plugin can do for you, this uh, Gradle support plugin. This is a pretty large project that you've got here, in this particular case, the NetMuse Gradle plugin. But the Gradle support has completely built this project, set it up for us um, with a very nice project structure. Everything is nicely on the class path. Um, it's, uh, it's an amazing... It's an amazing achievement by Attila Kellerman. Thanks. Anyone wanting to use Gradle in an IDE should definitely give NetBeans a try.